Is it possible to use a low-end 2017 Lenovo tablet in 2022? Let's find out. So here we have the Lenovo TV 8504X. This thing originally came with Android 7.1.1 from the factory. Currently it is running Lineage OS 17.1 as you can see right here. And it has TWRP flashed into the firmware. Let me show you. Upon powering up the device, I hold the volume up button and it should start booting into TWRP. And here it is. After unlocking it, you can see we have the normal TWRP where you can install your operating system through, for example, an SD card and change some settings about your tablet's functionality. So let's reboot back into the system. The system boots in about 10 seconds, so it does take a longer time than it took on Android 7. On Android 7, it was around about 8, but it's not, like, terrible. Now that we are booted into the operating system, let me show you the specs of this tablet. So let's open up CPU-Z. The CPU in this tablet is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 425 running at 1.4 GHz with 2 GB of RAM and 16 GB of storage. The tablet is perfectly usable for general tasks like web browsing, video playback, or probably even taking pictures. So if you open up the camera, for example, uh, you see it is a little bit bugged out unfortunately but there is nothing I could do about it so like yeah here is my monitor and stuff obviously it's not really visible it's basically fine for general tasks and really can't handle gaming because it's a low-end chip from 2017 another thing I've noticed is the Wi-Fi chip on this is not the greatest and uh, if I run a speed test, we're on a 5G network. Uh, and just run a speed test. So as you can see, we have 35.6 megabits download and 35.9 upload. Our ping is 4, and yeah, that's basically it. It runs fine. Even on Android 10, this thing is perfect. Unfortunately, I've tried looking for Android 12, but there is not a build for Android 12 yet because this is unofficial Lineage OS uh, because officially Lineage is not made for this tablet unfortunately. There is Lineage OS 11 but I decided to use 10 because I thought it would be more stable but I will try 11 as well. For now I'm fine with 10. We also installed Google services. This is like the lightest package I could get so here we have just the basic Play Store and uh, yeah, it pretty much works. You can download apps. Obviously, it's not meant for gaming, so just general tasks are usable. If you try to play games, expect it to be a little bit more stuttery because this is running Android 10 instead of 7. So, yeah, it was not really made for playing games as well. I mean, sure, you can definitely play, like, Clash Royale on this thing. That That is probably, like one of the games that could work fine on this device. Other than that, I don't expect a lot, but it's fine for general tasks, like I said. RDPing into devices, so if we pull up RDP and select like my deployment, it loads fine and it's perfectly usable without issues. Anyway, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, bye.